WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials flat. NASDAQ is up 167. S&P's up 21. Gold. Gold contract down $11.40, trading at $17.16 an ounce. We have silver down seven cents, eighteen dollars sixty-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks, hundred and two dollars twenty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down five ticks, trading one seventeen twenty-five. The thirty-year down two at one thirty-eight sixteen. And king dollar, king dollar trading up three hundred ninety-three ticks at one hundred seven oh seven four. Euro is one hundred one. Yen is at 138, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. We can open and take a look at the S&Ps, folks. We're going to have a little divergence out here, so it's going to be intriguing watching how this close comes in. I mean, this is what it is. So you get the SPY going after the swing. The swing we're talking about is at uh, 393.16. We're at 394.55. You need 86 million shares. Now, we get, we get a contraction of volume. There's no doubt about that. So we'll see how this handles it um, coming into the close. Because if you close underneath it, that's telling me tomorrow morning you'll back down a bit. And then my take is you go forward once again. And why? Because guess what? The NDX is leading the market. And the NDX, we take a look at the NDX, has the volume. The Qs have the volume. You're up 446. You're blown away the swing point. The swing point is 54 million. We're already done 50. So we're going to do 65 million. That says the Qs are going to run us up to 314. And if that's where we go, it's going to drag the S&P with it. Volatility, I expect volatility tomorrow morning because what you're going to get tomorrow morning is you're going to get the ECB saying, okay, they can up 25 basis points. And, uh, you know, that'll, that'll, it, it, we'll see where it shakes out with the dollar. But it's going to move the dollar. So the dollar right now, was up 382 ticks. You're trading 107.063. And this is a classic kind of, you know, you, it went into the highs of its strength. Now it's into the high. That It hasn't rejected the 106.792. Oh, yes, it has. Yeah, it has. Okay. Because we're at 107.060. So that, you know, if we stay there, that's bottom line saying the dollar's going to get a little pop again. If the dollar gets a pop again, you know, bottom line is that you're going to see. The market's trying to pull back again. My take being, that's where the divergence comes in, and we'll see where this baby's going to shake out. Gold. Gold contract right now. Still can't catch a bid. Gold is uh, got to a low of 17.14. Now, you don't have volume on the way down, but the bottom line is that, guess what? You don't have buyers either. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.